first question is how was your flight? Were you able to sleep a little? <laughs> no, I didn't sleep. Uh, it was for me really tough. Uh, so I'm very tired, but I'm happy to be here. You came to Moscow several days ago. Tell us about these days. Also very tired days. I been a lot of things to do uh, to organize everything. So it was everything in a hurry. I didn't rest really. So uh, yeah, it was tough also three days. And what was your plan? Uh, you came to Moscow then? Uh, no, I, I came to Moscow. I need to fix some uh, things. Uh, I mean, a lot of things. And yeah, that was my plan to first finish this, the medical test, the first day, the second day. And the third day, I directly fly to Moscow as uh, soon as possible. And you visited our stadium. Did you like it? Yeah, it's a good stadium. It's like a really classic stadium uh, with uh, green and uh, red. That's what I would like and uh, I'm looking forward to playing that uh, stadium. What about the weather? Of course the weather is a uh, lot of snow, but uh, I was expecting more um, cold because I played also in Lithuania. And that was really cold and I was expecting as well in uh, Moscow, but it's not so cold, so I'm happy with that. Because two or three weeks ago there was about minus 25 degrees. Oh, I didn't, uh, and then I was not there, but uh, when I was there, Moscow was like minus 10, minus 7, and it was okay, you know. And so I'm happy about it. But or do you like snow? No, I'm more a summer. Sun, I like more, so I'm not that type of person. How long did you think about the proposal from Lokomotiv? Uh, I had the proposal already before. Uh, of course, he was thinking about it, but uh, at that time I made another decision and when Lokomotiv came again, it was a huge challenge for me, also something out of my comfort zone, what I like, uh, and I was thinking yeah, for a little bit, uh, for a long time, and I was just thinking like this is the second time that Lokomotiv came, maybe there's a reason behind it, so just accept the challenge and uh, go 100% for it then. We will see uh, what will happen. Did you discuss it with your family? Maybe someone told you that don't do it please, nothing like that? Uh, no, because my mother is from Bosnia and I think uh, Bosnia and Russian people have a lot of uh, like similar mentality. So in that way, of course, uh, they advised me to go to Russia. Have you been to Russia before? No, it's the first time. First time. And your first feelings? Uh, good feelings. I like the atmosphere. It's also, I think, the atmosphere that uh, suits me as a character, uh, as a person. Um, and yes, I told you, uh, Russia and uh, Bosnia mentality is like similar. So that's what I say before, the atmosphere that I found in Moscow, I really fit there well, so uh, I'm happy with that. What do you know about Russian football? Maybe you know some players from Russia? No, I don't know uh, players from Russia. Uh, of course, uh, when the offer came, I analyzed the, the style of football uh, in general, the competition, and I think it will suit me. Uh, because there will be a lot of spaces, I think that's also my strength. And uh, yeah, so that's what I analyze uh, so far from Russia League. More I cannot tell because I think it's not a good idea. So uh, yeah. So you don't know uh, locomotive players? The locomotive players, of course, I check them. Uh huh. Uh, ooh, I check them, of course, I check where they played before, but not that I really know uh, by their name, so uh, I, I did my research, but that's all. Tell us about yourself, maybe about your strong skills. <laughs> my strong skills, uh, I think I have, uh, I'm a technical player, uh, I have a lot of speed, uh, I have scoring ability, I think that uh, I'm strong. Uh, physically, yeah, I can talk about myself, what is my strongest point, but i rather to show it on the field. I think that's the most important. So, uh, I, I hopefully I will show it and uh, try my best for the team and uh, win the games. And what is your favorite player? I think Zlatan Ibrahimovic because of his mentality. Uh, I like how he, uh, the way he thinks, the way he plays, with confidence. Uh, so. If I need to choose somebody, I would choose him. 
And this is the last question. What is your main focus for this season? The main focus of this season is to, uh, to help the team, uh, to perform well, and to do my best for the club. And then for the next season to look forward to uh, what will happen, uh, what will be the situation with the club, because I'm of course a lone player. Uh, first of all, so uh, I just want to give uh, the next five, six months my best and from there we will look further uh, how it will come, but I, uh, I will look step by step and not, I don't like to look uh, in long term, you know, so uh, I'm now focused on the five, six months and from there we will see how it will work out. Hello guys, fans of Lokomotiv. I'm very happy to be here and I can I can't wait to see you in the stadium guys. Bye bye. I need to also this one. Yeah. Yeah.
highlight uh, how your first days on the new team and what can you say about the trainings? Uh, I think I'm very happy to be here. Uh, they had a warm welcome. Uh, that surprised me really well. Uh, also what surprised me, my Russia is not good yet, but uh, some people are speaking English. Uh, th that's what I'm happy about. And about training, it's, uh, I like the intensity. It's also my style. Um, so yeah, I like, uh, in general, I like it here. How's your adaptation? Who did you make a friendship with? Uh, yeah, basically with everybody, of course, uh, with some players more because they speak in English. Uh, for example, Mario, he's uh, from Albania and he's speaking uh, fluent English. Uh, so yeah, I'm speaking with him a lot, basically with everybody who speaks English, so I'm happy about that. What do you think about Russian language? Maybe you know some words already? Khavosh, Davai, Pasivai. I know some words, I played in Lithuania. I also some know uh, some bad words, uh, I rather not to say, but uh, yeah, I want to learn a little bit, uh, not fluent, but uh, the basic I want to learn, so. Yesterday you watched the Fredling game of Lokomotiv, how do you like it? Uh, yeah, I like it. Um, I didn't expect that that Russia league was a good league. Uh, of course, you know that's a good league, but uh, the, the way the Russia league is, how far I saw, it's uh, really intense and that's also what I like. Um, so I'm very happy to be here and part of the of the league and of this kind of football. What moments of the last game or which players took your att attention? Uh, Mario, I also told him not because I speak often with him, but uh, the calmness on his uh, the calmness uh, with him on the ball and uh, the aggressive. Uh, the he always want to play forward. That's also my style. And uh, it's for me a pleasure if I'm uh, playing on the left side that he's left back and I think we can uh, collaborate in an amazing way and uh, help the team, so I'm really looking forward. What about players who play in your position? Uh, also surprised, uh, very happy that, uh, let's say, my player that on my play scored two goals. Uh, yeah, basically I was very happy and uh, yeah, that's what I, all what I can say. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. But the with the break then bas basically this competition, the Russia competition, really short. It's long, we have long breaks. In the winter you have five weeks off, so you have the yeah, training yeah, yeah, camp. Yeah, yeah. Because they did like, also the, like they changed the whole, uh, the, the way they make the cup, you know, and everything, you know, the, it's like group stages in the cup, ah. you have group stages, and after someone, the first two pass and the ah, next, okay. yeah, so it goes like this, so we can have more games. Yes. Yeah, but, no, the winning the break is actually like, because it's long. Yeah. But how what, How did you go to Moscow? From where? Like, Bosnia, Amsterdam? Oh, no, no. Where, where, where? I'm from Bosnia, but I play in Holland. You play in Holland, okay. So Amsterdam? Not directly, you went to Turkey? No, Turkey, and Turkey. Moscow, from Moscow, Abu Dhabi. In three days, everything. Yeah. I'm tired. Believe me, you, you get used to it. If you do this trip every yeah. Every time. Ah, because of you, the you play in a Shardin or yeah. you will get your face for sure? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because even to go in Bosnia, I think. Okay, you can. And where are you from? I'm from Albania. Albania? Yeah, Albania. Yeah. Balkan as well. Balkan that. Uh, you speak Albanian? Yeah, of course. Uh, but it's not similar like that. No, no, no. But, uh, you know, when, when I see people like uh, Balkan play, players, yeah, yeah. Croatia, I don't know, but they speak uh, Serbian. It's yeah. Like if you feel you're not close, yeah. it's. Uh, Okay. Because also before we had the uh, Draconia, so I don't know if you know him. Uh, it's uh, from uh, uh, Montenegro. Half Montenegro, half Serbian. Yeah. Yeah.